Father, I don't put over shit in Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for your firewall around this prayer time. Thank you, Father, for my feet, that you have given me feet of peace. You've given me a heart full of joy. Father, I pray right now during our prayer time for Happy Hollywood Jesus. Thank you, Papa, for Happy Hollywood Jesus, Lord. So we just come into intercession right now for Hollywood and for the nations, for the cities, for the counties, for the for the states of the U U.S. And also we'll, we'll pray for the virus over in China. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, for your utterance. Thank you, Father, for the utterance of your spirit, Lord. Father, I pray peace over the land. I pray peace over the land, over the land where there's calamity and tyranny, where there is violence. For area, where areas that um, are coming into destruction, uh, the Lord says that he wants to bring his feet of peace. He wants to bring his feet of peace. Lord, I, I pray for every person that's listening to this podcast, this broadcast, that they have feet of peace. Hey, about that. Father, so I pray for the redemption of your blood, that your blood covers their feet and everywhere they walk, that your blood covers their feet, Lord. Hey, Father, I thank you as you spread them out in their land. As you spread people out, Lord God, as you as they begin to tread on this uh, on the soil, that you uh, cause them to possess their land, and and as your blood covers them, it, it creates a redemption on the land. As your blood covers their feet, it protects them, it redeems the land, it redeems their feet, just as Moses as he went into Egypt. As he went, he, as he went in to be a redeemer, Zephora had to throw down um, her sons. Uh, she had to circumcise her son and throw down the the bloody flesh before Moses' feet, because he uh, needed redemption for his feet. Even though he was a redeemer, redeemers need redemption before they can be redeemers those that are redeemers god is calling them to come into redemption first or to come into into um a type of deliverance or a type of um rescue before they can become a redeemer so i thank you father as we are uh called according to your purpose called according to your uh your your will that we come into rescue in you, redemption in you, that the blood of Jesus covers our feet so that when we walk in places that we are redeeming, our feet are redeemed with your blood. We are those that go in for um, the kill to, to bring back the spoil, uh, but we must first have to come into that place of redemption in our feet. We must first have to come through the rescue of the Lord in Sephora was a type of intercession or inter intercessor that she interceded for Moses, for the Lord had put it on her heart to intercede and to become a type of intercessor or redeem redeemer for Moses so that Moses could be the redeemer for the land. So I thank you, Father, that you uh, are giving this analogy to us to speak of our feet, uh, that we must have feet of peace first before we can take the land. We must have redemption on our feet first. We must have intercession on our feet. We must be those that intercede um, and uh, uh, speak intercession over uh, those. So it wasn't that 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 uh, Sephora needed to throw the the bloody uh, the circumcision that 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 foreskin on her feet but Moses's feet it had to be given to Moses because he was going into the land to redeem the land she was already redeemed because she redeemed the Lord redeemed her by redeeming 
Moses by, by placing that foreskin, that bloody foreskin at his feet. It not only redeemed him, but it redeemed her in the process, and it redeemed all those that they were going to go into the land and rescue. So thank you, Father, for as you bring us into a separation, our feet into a separation from those former things, from the things that we walked in before, just as Moses took off his shoes and he told um, Moses to uh, approach him uh, on uh, with his bare feet on holy ground. The Lord keeps speaking about feet, 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 as he spoke to Moses about his feet, as Zephora had to throw that bloody foreskin before his feet. So the Lord always speaks of feet when he readies us to go into a place where we're about to go in and redeem it. So I thank you, Father, that we are redeemed by your blood, and that speaks of our feet being redeemed so that we have the preparation of the gospel of peace upon us. So thank you, Father, for we are prepared to speak when our feet have been redeemed. Thank you, Lord. So you deal with our feet speaks of our will. The, the Lord speaks of our feet. And, and, and when he speaks of our, our, our feet, he speaks of, actually, he speaks of our will. And you'll give us every place that we set our foot to, every place that you promised our feet to tread. So thank you, Father, that as we go, you prepare us, you make a way before us so that we won't go into the land full of judgment upon our own self. But you have um, uh, brought us into intercession so that when we go into that land, um, so when we pray, we pray intercession, that we will not be um, those that are um, convicted, but we go in with, uh, uh, with this type of, um, this type of um, uh, the will, our wills are clean before you, our feet are clean before you. Because every place that you set our feet, you want us to have dominion. So you have to prepare our feet, our walk. Even the desire has to be clean before you. So that when you spread our feet out, we have dominion, we have possession, and we have authority. So this is the key to speaking about revival or speaking about going into the land. The Lord has to separate us um, by his blood. He has to bring salvation, separation. He has to bring peace on our feet. So he brings the blood on our feet. He brings peace on our feet. He brings us into separation so that we will go into the land with clean with a, a, a clean feet, uh, with feet spread out, with feet full of peace. So I thank you, Lord, that you work from our feet to our head. You go from our feet to our heart, to our lips, our mouth, to our head. So I thank you, Father, for peace. So I, uh, my assignment today for California is to speak over the land there and for it to spread out into the nations of the earth is to first speak of the, uh, the Lord's uh, peace, the spirit of peace, the Lord's spirit of peace. So I thank you, Father, that our uh, that the, the first uh, place that we are to bring intercession in and uh, is to in our will it's our will, but it speaks of our feet. So, Lord, I pray for California and cities and countries and nations across the earth that there will be peace. Father, I speak into this virus in Jesus' name that has uh, sprung out and spread out, and it's gaining um, territory by even walking onto other lands. So, Father, I speak peace onto the feet that there will be a stop to all of the spread of calamity and tyranny and death. And even speaking um, to the viruses, flu virus, influenza, different types of uh, B and A and, di and di these different things, I speak in the name of Jesus. Peace. Peace on the land. I speak peace. I speak peace. I speak the Lord has dominion over the land. And for those that follow after him, we can be intercessors and we can uh, spread out, we can throw out, we can toss out redemption, we toss out the blood. So I toss out the blood on the land in the name of Jesus, Lord. I thank you, Father, that your angels are sent to um, 
Give aid to those that are interceding. Give aid to those that are praying and are in intercession. Father, I thank you, Lord, that, uh, that your angels hearken to the voice of the Lord. So I speak the voice of the Lord as I speak his word. And I thank you, Lord, that angels are carriers. They are ones that, that, that hearken to the voice of those that uh, bring salvation. So I thank you, Father, that your angels are working in and around us to accomplish everything that we set our feet to do. So I thank you, Father, that your angels are working with me, that they are a ministering spirit sent forth to those that are heirs of salvation. So I thank you, Father, that as they uh, hear me, that they would work before me uh, to, and aid me. So I thank you, Lord, as you're sending them out to sprinkle blood across the land, solidarity across the land. Hey, how about that? Uh, peace across the land so it's impossible to have solidarity unless we first have peace so i thank you father for spreading peace out that it forms uh unison it forms unity it forms solidarity it forms um uh the the us to have oneness in jesus name so i speak this over the nations of the earth peace 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 I speak peace over the nations of the earth. I speak peace. I speak peace over the nations of the earth right now. Peace over their feet. Peace. Peace over their feet. Over every place that people set their feet. In Jesus' name. From the point of where that virus started, of the point of where viruses have their beginning, I speak peace in Jesus' name. Peace in Jesus' name. Peace over the land in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, for the utterance of your spirit, the spontaneity, the spontaneousness of your spirit, the prophetic of your spirit. The inheritance is we are priests. We inherit as we come into the land. We come into the place where our souls rest. I speak peace, Lord. I speak peace not only into the feet, but into those that bear your living well, your water. Lord, I speak peace into their well. I speak joy. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I speak redemption. Redemption, Father. I speak redemption over the land. Redemption over California. Redemption throughout the nations of the earth. Redemption over California. Redemption throughout the nations of the earth. Redemption throughout the nations, Father. The countries, the continents of the earth. Redemption. Thank you, Lord, for your blood redeems, Father. I speak your blood. I speak the peace of your blood, Lord. The peace, P-E-A-C-E, -E, of your blood, Father. I speak it out over the land. I speak it out over governments. I speak peace over your governments. I speak peace over the government, over the governments, Lord, of every continent of this nation. I speak peace. I speak peace over every government uh, of every continent of this nation. In Jesus' name, I speak peace. Uh, violence, you will have to cease. I speak peace. Violence, you will have to cease. I speak peace. Where there's anger and there's violence, where there's spewing of 
of uh, words that are not uh, conduits of his will, where there's words that are not conduits of his will, uh, bringing, uh, uh, um, a, uh, bringing the will of God because he wants to bring his will onto the land. He wants to speak uh, his will onto the land because he's bringing um, uh, a, a fullness of time. He's bringing the fullness of time on the land. He wants to bring uh, a, an importance on the land, a worthiness on the land. And this speaks of our heart. It, uh, it, because he brings peace to us and everywhere where our feet uh, press down and trod he causes it to flow up into our hearts and it fills our hearts with the well wells of salvation which brings joy and that joy comes out of our lips and it it it, it, it is an increase uh, it increases us into the land and then and, and it cleanses our minds and we have the minds, uh, mind of Christ. So it always starts with our feet. It goes up to our knees because our knees speak of submission, coming into hiddenness, coming into prayer, coming into intercession. I wouldn't doubt it if Sephora got down on her knees and cut that foreskin of her son with that flint and threw it at uh, Moses' feet and she was on her knees doing it because it speaks of the hidden place and then it comes up into a place in our hearts where God fills our hearts and then he fills our minds with his will, with his salvation, with his um, with his cleanness. Our minds become clean. So it speaks, so the Lord works with our feet first, our knees, our hearts, which really is the well. And then he speaks uh, lastly of our minds, uh, the mind of Christ. So I thank you, Father that is, you are making uh, these um, places where we stand important. Uh, you're making them worthy. You're making them bring something special in the hidden place. You're causing uh, this significance of your peace to graduate us, to cause us to go into all the world because you want to do uh, something with us. Because like graduation, when we get a graduation or, or, or diploma, it means that we are beginning to break out and go into all the world because he wants you to do something with what you have been given. So this peace gives you a reason to go into all the world because he wants you to spread the peace out into the world. It's a type of promotion, um, really significant, uh, uh, even in, in when he gives